Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do something illegal. Yes, we are going to install Proxmox on vSphere. Let's have a look. Okay, for first of all, we have to download ISO. So we're going to proxmox.com en slash downloads and we are going to download the ISO. I already downloaded. Next thing is we are going to open our vSphere. And what I want to do is to create just a resource pool only to separate Proxmox from the other VMs. So I just right click, create a new uh, resource pool. I will call it Proxmox. Mm -hmm. If I can spell it, I will call it Proxmox. And I am not going to change any settings, just click OK. Right, so this is the first part. Second part is we have to go to data store and we have to upload ISO. I already uh, upload ISO, but if you want to do it, you just create a folder, like a new folder, and then upload files. You click on upload files, you just highlight the files, you just highlight the file and click open. Now, should you get the error message, which means that you have to download the trust certificate and where you can get the trust certificate, you can get it from the welcome page from your vCenter. So open vCenter and over here is download trust root CA. You need to just install that for local machine, not for current user, for local machine, reboot your browser and the upload will go through. Okay, so once we have these things out of our way, now let's prepare the virtual machine. So right click on the resource pool and create new virtual machine. We are going to create new virtual machine, click next. Now let's name it. You can name it whatever you want. I just like, keep the naming convention I'm using. Choose a cluster. Choose resource group. You don't need to put a resource group. It's up to you. Now, we choose the storage. We choose the compatibility with vSphere 8 or later. As a guest family, it's Linux. And let's choose Debian 12 64 bit. Now we do the two CPU, 16 gig of memory, and I'll just increase the hard drive to 50 gigabytes. Important thing is to highlight hardware virtualization. Okay for CPU. And now you need to choose a network. So I'm choosing the network I have set up in this lab, uh, but it's up to you uh, which network you will choose. Just make sure you have a correct network. And in this moment, we need to attach ISO file. Okay, so data ISO file. I'm going to my data store. I'm going to my folder and ISO. Connect on power, check. All right, so let's click next. It will take a few moments to analyze all the settings. Once we see that page, it means we are ready to go. So click finish. Now we need to power on the machine. So click on power on and open console. 
So I'm going to install graphic interface. Now we have to wait. Once you're waiting, guys, just click on the like and subscribe button. You can also click on the notification bell. It will help my channel to grow. Thank you. Okay, and now we have to do a few steps. So, of course, agreement, I agree. Now, we have a target disk. I have only one disk on it. And so, next, country. I put my country, this is Ireland, and I'll change to uh, United Kingdom, the keyboard layout. Click next, password. That's very complex. And the email address, so you can receive a alert or notifications. Once you're happy, click next. Now, full qualify domain name, FQDN. IP address mask gateway and DNS server. Once you're happy, click next. And check this, if it's not checked, automatically reboot after successful installation. I have already checked, so I just click install. And again, we need to wait a few moments for installation. And again, this is a good moment for you guys to give me a like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Uh, also, I would like you to share that video with your friends and your peers. Thank you very much. And it's done. As you could see on the screen, it says installation successful. It reboot itself. I didn't need to click anything. And now the system is booting. Okay, the system is up and running. As you can see, this is the IP address. Uh, it's a 10.5.1.1.2.35 on port 8006. So let's try to open it. And we have a login prompt. So the user is root and the password is a password you set up during installation. And click login. Ta-da! This is Proxmox running on vSphere. Uh, it's nested virtualization and this is how it looks like. Okay, guys. This is the short video to show you that you can uh, install uh, Proxmox on your virtualization in vSphere. You can test it on your uh, VMware workstation. Um, and in the future video, I will, show you, I will show you how to create VMs and other options. For now, this is it. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, let's discuss this in the comment section on, on X platform. My handler is at angrysysops. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.